Well, hello, this is again Doug B. Stanley on TV, YouTube channel. Uh, new to this vlogging game, but committed to doing it on a consistent basis just to bring some value to our community uh, for the sake of restoration. So, anyway, I just got a few things on the, on the table that I want to share with you. Uh, I've shifted gears away from uh, a fee based, fee -based service uh, orientation for making primary income for me and my family uh, to uh, a gift economy uh, where the gift that I believe Christ has placed in my life I'll be freely giving it to those who who believe and also offer fee base of when when it's actually a good idea to do business with those who simply don't agree with the orientation I have around Christ which is fine uh, we won't discriminate uh, but we will charge quarterly uh, just so we won't have to think we're in it together uh, we'll just conduct business uh, as, as business as usual uh, so that fee schedule will be something that will be confidential and negotiable uh, rate by rate. Uh, but for those of you who who on the team, who see the vision, who believe in the um, in the move of the spirit that we're engaging in right now to not only lead but to provoke others to love the good works thereof, uh, you can catch me right now at this new uh, uh, site. I would put the link down there, but just go ahead and take notes on this. It's RestoreNow.info. That's R E S T O R E. N O W dot info, I N F O, restore now dot info. And I'll take you right to my Patreon forward slash WB Stanley site. And you can read down through those tiers if you don't have the wherewithal to focus to read down through there. Probably not, not, not supposed to uh, partner anyway, but if you do have the patience to read down through there, I believe you'll be blessed because I've, I've, I've articulated uh, to what many would call a business plan, but I'm going to call it a ministry plan because. I myself, as much as I have these other facades for advertising and marketing purposes to become all things to all men, I might win a few. At the heart, at the heart of the issue, I'm simply a man of God. Uh, uh, God has given me the tongue of the pen of the radio writer, the ability to write vision in the hearts of those who have a he ears to hear. Uh, but He also has given me the tongue to learn to speak it in a language that those out that may or may not be from my culture, orientation, or dialect. He's given me a way to speak to them to where they can understand and find their place, get in where they fit in uh, to Christ's rule and me as just one of his princes in the earth to do his will, bring him glory and edify his body, which is the church, the following of believers, those who are his bride to come. That will be uh, the, the, the guest of choice at the, uh, the wedding lamb of, uh, supper of the lamb. Of the lamb. Uh, to be determined as his determination. So we just do the work we got doing earth right now. I count myself in one sense as a, as a friend of the bridegroom, as articulated in certain passages in scripture. And I'm here just to help that bride ready herself that she'll be without spot and blemish. So to equip and empower those who believe for the works of the ministry till we all come to the fullness of the knowledge of the Son of God. I confess that this is the reason, the purpose that I exist. So as much as I'm a change management consultant, as you see on my banner, on wbstanley.com, I in literally in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 to 21, read down through those six verses, you'll see where it also says I'm an ambassador of Christ, that on one side I've been given the ministry of, and on the other side I've been given the message of reconciliation. That is a very fiscal term, that the books must be balanced. The books must be balanced on eternal, righteous, just scales. So again, I just want to kind of give everybody orientation, give you a pace as I announce and, and describe and clarify my disposition, why I do what I do, how I'm wired, and what rejuvenates me. So on that note, uh, do I need your support? Uh, God provides uh, for his own. Uh, is it in your best interest to support or partner with me? Well, go over there and read what it says at http colon forward slash forward slash RestoreNow.info. Uh, for the cost of less than a cup of coffee, you can get involved and partner to give me the wherewithal to do what I do across this country, city to city. We're going to plant branches of the true, the one true faith vine, not to compete, but to help help collaborate and collectively bring under the mind of Christ the existing religious organizations that do profess Christ. Uh, sometimes not as hot and fervently as Christ would be or smile upon. Some are lukewarm, some are even cold, and some are too hot. But what God wants is either hot or cold. So that said, I have no judgments. That's his doing, but I'm there to facilitate a balancing of the books, a reconciliation, a message, and a ministry of reconciliation. Because Christ was 
God was inside of Christ, reconciled the world to himself. And I am his ambassador now, appealing to you as if God was in me, telling you to be reconciled to God. I could say repent, that just simply means to change your mind. But what I'm saying to you, I'm appealing to your conscience, which is your reasonable service, that you would present yourselves living sacrifices also. And by his spirit, you, he lets you know that it's, you're supposed to partner with me. I would bid you uh, greetings and admonish you that you should partner with me on the levels of one, two, three, or four dollars at this time. And if we get those numbers compounded and empowered in that, 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 that support mechanism is outlined at restorednow.info, it gives me the wherewithal to travel freely without conscience and having to tax the churches and the groups, community groups that I'm going to minister to. Now, on the other side of the equation, we're not just there to do the faith. Uh, even though everything will be based on the faith that moves mountains. I declare and decree that revival and awakening will come to the urban hubs of America. We're going to walk that out in the day in the immediate days to come. And we're going to see how God will do that through his hand and through his servants, the, those who will obey him. Uh, even against the stiff-necked ones who hid them away in themselves in a Pharisee mentality, they're, they're anti-Christ in, in their expression and their demonstration of, of their disposition. Nevertheless, we're not going to uh, develop uh, faith branches and cultivate faith branches, which re is representative of many members of the true body of Christ from all different traditions and religions in each city. And even from those who don't claim a religion uh, as God selects them, because the church will be it will grow as 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 people are saved and it will be added to daily in the name of Jesus. Count on that. Watch those words. Uh, but we're also going to plant what I call money trees, highly lucrative, highly profitable uh, kingdom center, kingdom of God center profit centers, businesses. I call them money trees, figuratively speaking. So look for those. You can check out my site at uh, winwin.biz. That's W-E-N-W-I-N dot B-I-Z. That's winwin.biz. It shows you the first four uh, prototypical, highly profitable profit centers that we're pushing into the earth uh, just because God gave us authority to do so for his eternal glory. And there's many more to come. I was not confidentially under non-disclosure not to speak of, but I'm sitting in, in meeting and greeting in, in, in the war room, in the war chest, with some power players from big stuff that's coming up in the urban hubs that won't be dependent on the status. It will be dependent on God alone. Hallelujah. By faith, we will do these things. Because God is looking for a city whose founder and maker is God. Who the foundation of the apostles, the prophets, it sits on, rests on, and the chief cornerstone, Jesus Christ. And we, members in particular, that wonderful edifice is built on top of it, whereby God inhabits his temple uh, through the souls of his people. So we'll communicate spirit to spirit, we'll fellowship in sweet cornonia, meaning we share all things together. If one of us have surplus, none of us have lack until we balance the tables. We're not talking about a redistribution of wealth. We're talking about each individual believer heeding the spirit of God and giving and receiving as led by the spirit and step with the spirit. The Godhead controls the action, not some elite group who think they're smarter than all the rest of us humans. Uh, that's the beast, the Antichrist. That is not the administration of Christ or the mind of Christ. So as I drop this knowledge, it's not that I drop it. As I give this knowledge, because it was freely given to me, Understand, I only say the things to you that God has shown me in my spirit. I only speak the things to you that I've heard in, in my inner context in my heart where I have communion, communion with the sweet Holy Spirit, the man Christ Jesus, who is Lord, who's seated on the throne, making intercession for us to our energy made our footstool. So let's not talk about it anymore. Let's be about it. Get over there to restorednow.info and make a conscious prayerful decision whether or not God is calling you to partner with me. And one thing you have my word on, you will not see me enriching myself beyond what is reasonable. Uh, so I have a wife and I have wonderful kids. All I want to do is take care of them, make sure they get the education that they want to pursue and get step, they get established in life. Everything I do above and beyond that, in fact, I'll make my, my take home public. It'll be a transparent budget and I'll let you watch the transactions live as the bookkeepers and, and those who we put in position to run all that part of the operations. Uh, so we'll make sure we keep it transparent and open. Uh, so I'll walk circumspect, circumspect, knowing what the will of the Lord is because the days are evil and we'll be redeeming the time. Anyway, continue to be filled with the spirit, singing songs, make it melt in your heart, always to the Lord. And whatever you do, indeed a practice, do it in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Anyway, signing off, this is WB Stanley TV. Uh, welcome. 
Uh, please subscribe if you like what you're hearing. If not, you don't have to come back. If you want to give me crit constructive criticism, go ahead and leave it. I'm not going to filter anything. Let it rip. I take that persecution with a smile. <laughs> I've learned to do that in my maturity in the Lord. At the age of 48, I look for another 48 years ahead of me where we're going to do exactly what the Lord tells us to do in seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness, knowing that all these other things, wealth included, will be added to us. Because God, our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has given us the power to get wealth that he might establish his covenant in earth. Ha, 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 ha. Amen. Anyway, uh, until next time, this is Wendell Stanley with WB Stanley TV signing off. You got anything you need to reach out to me about? I'm accessible. I have my phone number, address, and all the above is probably somewhere online you can find it. Uh, but just comment here, and we'll start a conversation there, and we'll move uh, to the next level if we need to. God bless. Be blessed. Thank you.